Okay, so my name is Greg Evans, and um, I'm going to show you how to, you can set up your own music studio for real cheap in your own house. And uh, as you saw um, the intro that I did, <coughs> that was uh, me playing The Hard Day's Night that I recorded on my Tascom DP01 digital recorder for the past 10 years. And um, I showed you like uh, some of my CDs that I made. I always make these covers. Like this one is me. And uh, in the back, I got all the names of the songs. And I've done up about 55 of these things plus. And those are about 15 songs per CD at least. And I've only, the ones that make the CD cover are the only ones that are. The, there's the sifted out, you know, I've gone through the ones that aren't so good and too long and all the other mixes and things like that, songs that just didn't work out. And so, but I come up with like 55 of these and I really love doing it. And it gives me a, a, it's a, like a tool for doing the things I want to be able to do to create art, music, write songs, and play other people's cover songs. and learn them real well, and the chords, and, and record them. Because, uh, you know, I can go back 10 years from from here, and uh, I can have a recording of what I did way back then, and it's all, you know, I, I uh, always, uh, you know, I make a, like an archive copy of these things, because, uh, you know, when, when, but anyway, uh, we, uh, and so I've been doing this for quite a while, because, it allows me to uh, play music and record music and uh, create music of my own or ways of doing somebody else's songs or trying to do it their way. But uh, anyway, it's fun. Whatever but this uh, system that I have, it, it works for me. It's fast, it's convenient, it's easy, and it's cheap. I got this from a guy on Craigslist for about $100 and so. And uh, all the other equipment, I got a PA system and a uh, computer. That, so we'll talk about all those things and how they all integrate into this. You know, I got mics and uh, instruments. And, but uh, you can do this uh, anywhere. You know, I would be preferable to have like an isolated room where you don't have so much noise from outside, you know, the neighbors cut in the grass and dogs barking and and but um, I do it from the upstairs bedroom because that's what we have and that's what works for us you know but um, yeah so this is it's just been um, we'll get into it I you know I started I told you I started doing this about 10 years ago and before that I would just be doing songs and uh, uh, and after I finished, they were gone. And so they, uh, I figured one day that I would start recording these songs. And I'd like to try to do different instruments, you know. And if you just do like a plain recorder, you can't do all these tracks and stuff. You can't play a track over here that has your guitar and your vocal over here that has a, here's something else. And then, you know, if you're just one person doing all this by yourself, you know, if you want to put a banjo on a, a track and or mandolin or some drums, you know, you uh, you can do it all yourself, and then you mix it all together at the end. And so I've been doing this for quite a while, and I love doing it. Um, usually, what I do is I start off um, with a guitar track, and uh, because that's my most comfortable instrument, I play. You know, I don't even have to think think about it much, and so I uh, I start with my guitar track. And I always have my words behind me. I get these uh, off the internet, basically from Ultimate Guitar. And you get words and chords, and you can fiddle around with it and word perfect, and and make it big letters and concise, uh, condense it. So you got it all, all on one page and big letters so you can read it. And so uh, you don't forget the words when you're trying to do this. But then. Um, so I got the words, and uh, so 
So I usually start off with a guitar track and that gives me a really solid foundation. And then the next track I sometimes will double over my double over my same guitar track. I'll play like uh, just a little bit different, you know. It kind of doubles up the voice, you know. McCartney and Lennon, Lynn McCartney used to do that. Paul would sing along with John all the time. And uh, but I, I I think it gives a little solid bass to the vocal. You know, if you have like a double sort of like a weak echo, but not quite an echo. And so I, you know, come back with the same thing, basically on the same guitars. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll throw in a, 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 a D up here, a D up here. Uh, you know, I'll throw in stuff that wasn't quite on that first track. And then, so once that's done, you know, I'll start thinking, uh, what can I do next? You know, I say, uh, this sounds like a good time to put some piano on it. And so I'll, I'll set up track number seven and put, you know, put the piano on that one. And then I get done with it, so I've got to set up, uh, got to have a bass line. And so I'll set up uh, track number eight. And then uh, I said, uh, well, this needs uh, another vocal, maybe a harmony, you know. And so I'll track, track number uh, four. And uh, and so and, and it goes on. You know, I have, I have eight tracks, and basically I doubled them all up because my vocal and my instruments are all going into the same track, uh, which has its good side in that you can sit down and be spontaneous uh, with your guitar and your your voice, and you you crank out a song and it's done. Um, but and so it, guitar going into both tracks, and so but if you chose to do it on two different uh, uh, lines. It, it, it doesn't uh, doesn't quite flow as nice. So, so I usually don't care. You know, if I mess up on a, an instrument or the vocal too much, you know, I just weed it out and uh, lower lower it and you know the good parts and you know you do a lot of this stuff in editing. But uh, I'm going to show you how this all works. Okay.